Hey everyone and welcome back to the Aquatic Dome, welcome to the second last day before Christmas. It is the 23rd of December, we are uh, just uh, very much a little bit of an, a few hours away from Christmas time, um, or Christmas Eve I should say, um, and today this is um, a little cozy episode of me trying to make sure that this seal habitat is finally done and you can see from the thumbnail already I've done quite a bit and I'm, I'm pretty excited to show you this episode because um, it basically got the finishing touch as I want to have for this very specific habitat at the very beginning of this area. Now, one thing I have to mention is that this is in, uh, specifically something I was lacking a little bit um, when I showed you the first episode. Now, um, we, we obviously made sure that the inside of the habitat looks good, um, also placing some more feeders here to the right and left uh, just to make sure, but the outside obviously didn't really sell the idea um, that I wanted. Um, so yeah, I just continued building this a little bit more and the the basic philosophy behind this is that you sh just should have like a little glimpse of what you're going to expect in this uh, aquatic area and we do have a little pier going on to the outside but this is obviously because it's like a dead end um, it's just a pier to walk on and you have some seating possibilities uh, you should be able to see some seals uh, tolling around in the water you know that's basically um, what I wanted to create and I think it just kind of turned out nice um, it's just that I basically had the idea to make it um, not too obvious from the start I didn't want to have everyone going here and I did some test runs uh, with the people and it just seemed to work fine and um, yeah so I'm rather excited to see how they do it I still haven't managed to find out um, a way to make the people really go one direction I hope that I can figure that out somehow I have a certain idea how to make it but I don't know if that is even feasible uh, we will have to look into this but um, yeah so we're building a little pier over here I'm also making like a little canopy and today's time lapse is also a little bit shorter um, simply because <laughs> it's actually funny I've done uh, quite a few live streams recently well actually I did a lot of live streams and uh, that means I build most of my stuff in the live streams um, I know that I'm I'm rather productive in live streams um, in comparison to other people as as they claim I don't say that I know that I'm a lot sm slower still um, but I still figure that, you know, uh, whenever I have a live stream footage, I speed it usually up by like 10 to 11 times, something like that, you know, because just there are some, some breaks in there and I'm just building a lot slower because I'm, you know, just making sure to catch up the chat as well. And since it's getting a lot more busy in the uh, last couple of weeks, which is amazing, um, I need to pay a bit more attention to the chat anyway. So I speed it up a bit more. But whenever I, I sit down and just listen to uh, whatever, an audiobook or music or whatnot um, for myself and just chill and go into the vibe, um, I'm, I'm becoming so fast at building like really i'm getting so fast um and so therefore also the footage even though this is just one hour and 10 minutes now today's episode i get more done than usually in like three hours of a stream so um the footage is not as long and it's also not as sped up as much but still we get more done it's pretty funny though but it's 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 kind of cool and I love the idea, um, yeah. What also is pretty funny is that this footage is already nearly two weeks old. Uh, this is still from, I think I even did this in early access. I think this is the last footage from early access, so you can see how much of a blast I had. Um, it, it's just really incredible. Um, and the next couple of ep episodes, which will drop after Christmas days, um, so just so you're aware, the next three days will be only the Christmas project. There's going to be like a Christmas project. First episode is going to drop tomorrow, obviously, um, and uh, I'm going to drop it a little bit earlier than usual, so you guys can hopefully enjoy this. I don't know what you're exactly doing for Christmas. You can let me know in the comments down below if you want what I your plans for this rather specific and rather special Christmas um, but we talk about more about this in tomorrow's episode it's gonna be like a bit more chill relax um, episode of me talking about Christmas and stuff um, and also with the new project which is kind of a little surprise and maybe a little hint of what is coming next but yeah I was trying to do some stuff over here I was basically just trying to make like a little seal but no it just turned out to not look good so I, I left it the way it is also using a bit of a little shade here um, like a bit, little, little bit of a 3d backdrop um, just to make it look good and then we put down some foliage and oh my god is this willow tree isn't that beautiful I love it it's just one of my most favorite pieces in the game I guess now but yeah you can see I was just uh, making sure that this entrance area looks good and um, we are just figuring out how to make this uh, just appeal uh, better to the people and now there's one thing missing uh, as I was already talking about in the first episode of the seal habitat we need something that catches the views of the people 
some sort of little weenie kind of thing and obviously what we're going to do here is a small lighthouse tower and I struggled a little bit with it but I'm very happy with the outcome I'm like really happy with the outcome even though it, it took me a while to make it work but um, at the end I'm I'm rather happy with how it looks um, especially from from a distance and this is you know you have to consider that this is only like a backdrop uh, scenery and this is I think one thing I have to mention I wanted to make sure that this is rather realistic and this is also why I decided to keep this series going for a bit longer. So what I want from you guys, you need to also comment the hell out of it about realism aspects. If you see something which wouldn't work that way in reality, let me know in the comments down below because I want to make sure to raise the bar even more. I really appreciate that most of you agree with the fact that this is my best zoo project so far. I still think it is um, by, by far simply because there's a lot coming together in here. But if you have seen something that wouldn't work um, in real life, please let me know because then I can fix it. And I really, I am planning to do something special special with the tour. I don't know if it will work out, but we'll have to see. And there are a few things I will still make to do, uh, make uh, make possible in here, and then it will drop somewhat early 2021. Um, so there, there will be a few more episodes coming between the days, and um, also around uh, New Year's Eve, and then we will have some um, hopefully good fun at the beginning of the year, and then you know to start the year off right next year, uh, you will get this um, rather early on. So this is what I'm planning, uh, just to make sure that uh, this really deserves the the attention to detail. Detail. I'm not gonna rush it. I'm not gonna make sure that this is now dropping to Christmas or whatnot because whatever if you guys want to check it out You will check it out next year anyway, so um, I'm gonna make sure that this is really quality wise exactly what you guys deserve and I really want to push the boundaries even further I have some more ideas and you will see in a bit that I also did something for this specific build over here Which is um, leaning a bit more to the reality aspect of Zeus and stuff um, So you need to let me know and I know that there are a lot of people in the comments who have a lot of knowledge about it and uh, who are very good at at these kind of zoo things because they either work there or um, they still work there or they have studied it or whatnot so please let me know uh, in the comments if you spot something I can just fix it but yeah so you can see I'm, I'm changing the tower here a little bit so you can see from the distance I was just checking the sidelines and I figured okay that didn't really look that well um, and so I was changing a little bit the looks of the tower um, to make it a bit more um, bit more nice looking towards the top section and then obviously I finished off also this area. Also I figured you know this build these buildings over here usually in a zoo um, they're most likely backstage prop kind of sheds you know that they are just having like a nice uh, front area and then in the back it's mostly just having some I don't know maybe even food stored or whatnot is stored in there so I'm just imagining that this is some backstage um, kind of stuff and so because we do have all the backstage buildings in the background here anyways I will definitely make sure that this is also going to be um uh, kind of connected so this is all like one big building but this is something for the very end uh, just some finishing touches and yeah so I will also this time around obviously it's gonna have a tour but also I will make a video talking you guys through the the several elements of realism I integrated in here which I haven't done before so um, there's quite a lot going on and uh, we will obviously also have like a real-time part at the end of today's video so I hope you guys are excited for this one but um, yeah you can you can see I'm, I'm putting in a few more things here and there just to make sure that um, this is all realistic and such and I made these kind of little drainage things here to make sure that whenever they go in and out uh, there is also kind of water caught um, so it's not rippling over and then when I was doing this I figured okay one thing I remembered from a backstage tour is that many zoos also have kind of a cleaning area for the animals where they can actually wash off the animals if needed um, and so I figured this would be a nice place over here um, for the seals you know to put them uh, put them on this area where you have a lot of drainages below so that the water can go away and it's not everything is soaked you know um, so I was figuring that would be a great idea and then um, at the very end there was one thing I was missing out on and I promised you guys to do this um, rather uh, early on already but I have never done this um, so you can see I'm making like a little uh, colored backdrop over here which is um, kind of the idea is to mimic uh, the sky you know so that um, we have a little bit more of a really nice scenery in the background 
and I just figured to do it with these uh, simple art shapes. It was getting a little bit more tricky because you can see they're sticking out everywhere and then I was like, okay, well, this is still not done anyway, so I'm just putting in some of those uh, uh, grass pieces again. My favorite thing, we still have to adjust this because the, the roof looks uh, in insanely repetitive at this point, so I have to make sure that this is going to look a bit better. But yeah, it, it looks good. Um, I don't mind it too much. It's looking really rather nice and it's all fine, but yeah, by any means, the, it, this is not bad at all. It's just looking very cool um, and I, I really appreciate that uh, this idea I had all the time in my head still works out pretty nice and uh, it, it's kind of a kind of a nice little confirmation of my concept I made before the aquatic DLC was really dropping like I mean I knew that it's gonna be the aquatic DLC I think if like a week ahead of uh, early access and I could make my plans uh, but I've never expected that this works out because I've I had no idea how the the mechanics work and stuff um, and oh yeah we will also definitely have one episode which is only figuring uh, figuring out how to make it all work because I I still have a lot a lot of issues with the diveable area and I will have to make sure that the animals do dive you can see I did a little bit of a backdrop here for the penguins as well making sure that this is a like like a darker blue because that's kind of the sky difference I figure in these two areas of of like the very Antarctic area and then also a bit more of the normal coldish Californian uh, or like Alaska area whatever um, for the seals as so just changing the sky tint a little bit yeah so um, one thing that is not fully done and I will talk you through uh, in the real-time part a little bit more is definitely um, the separation of the two areas which is going to be a bit of a tricky thing to do uh, but we will see this next time around so this is going to be uh, rather interesting and um, yeah you can see by the way this is now merging into the last episode a bit um, the stones and stuff are missing over here so I was going a little bit farther and back so in the save file I'm gonna show you where we are at right now. So thank you guys uh, for watching the time lapse and now we jump over into the real time part. All right, so here we are in the real time part and you can see this new area turned out looking absolutely gorgeous uh, with the pier and with this little sign here in the front and you have the seals just chilling outside here. It's looking very nice, you know, it's looking really cool. And as I said, this is just like a little scenery backdrop. I will again continue, uh, connect this to this area pretty nicely. And I found actually a safe file where the inside is not even done. <laughs> so I can, I can still show you everything how it is looking right now. I'm quite proud of me, okay, be proud of me that I managed this time to uh, to make some save files to show you guys in real time around because usually I forget this and then the file is already like a million times ahead of time. As you can see, in the last episode, we did the underwater viewing, which is down here. Uh, but this is a um, this is not the finished version of it. You can see you have already seen the backdrop and stuff. So I showed you already more than was done. So I'm not always building straightforward. You know, whenever I have an idea, I jump between um, uh, different areas, and this is why it is a little bit harder for me to do it. But I managed this time, so be proud of me. Okay. So yeah, this is how it looks from the outside, and we can just go into guest perspective what they would see. So over here. Look at that, you can see the seals swimming around in this outside pool here, just hitting the ball, having some fun, you know, doing some little dives and stuff. And this is again what I said, this water is not even four meters deep at all points, but they still do some diving just because the four meter water fulfillment is done with the inside pool, which is which is just great. And if you would take a seat here on, on this area, you can see you're greeted by this view. And I'm not entirely happy with how this looks. I potentially would put some more trees and stuff in here, um, or maybe on top here. We will have to see that, but what you can see pretty nicely, you, you basically don't see anything of the backstage area. You just see everything in the front. And then we have this little cleaning area, just as I said, um, this is over here. I was already planning to um, put this little sprinkler in the middle here, so they actually lie on there. And then we can put like a little fence in. This is a nice rolling. Um, I think I've never seen this animation, guys. What was that even? That was so cute. Yeah, it was cute. Oh my god, this was so cute. <laughs> Having a hard life? Oh, I can understand. Oh, yay. Just turn around. <laughs> I love that. Um, and then, yeah, obviously we have the inside, but the problem with the inside still is that they seem not to use it. I have no idea how I will get this done. Like, my actual... The, my actual thoughts at the moment is to shorten this all a lot to give them more space over here to just push the pier a lot to the back making sure that the, the entire water volume is usable um, to them and then just hope that they will use it then and that's the only 
Excuse me, sir. Um, that's the only chance I, I see to do it. What is what, what is you what is what is going on? Yeah. Okay. See you later. <laughs> there was something happening. I don't know what was happening. But yeah, you can see that in the inside of this pool, um, there's a lot going on. And again, I have no clue how I will fix that because the penguins also do not dive. Um, my second idea is to basically change the habitat so that the penguin habitat is basically kind of cut off here and then this is going to be the entire seal pool um, this is like the the last idea I have sometimes they do dive as you can see over here now they do um, but I will I will try to fix that uh, just oh it's doing it's doing the <laughs> it's doing the belly flop again now whatever so yeah you can see they, they used to come inside again I have no clue how to fix that but I I'm quite uh, confident that I will be able to do something and this is again how it all looks from from everywhere maybe we even need to have more animals how are they doing by the way with the swimming needs because they should be what is going on okay so that's interesting because that was always fulfilled and you have seen them diving over here so see deep water is fulfilled but they do not have enough navigatable area again I will I will take care of that um, once this is all done because it doesn't make sense to do it now because I will change a few things inside anyways um, so yeah I may I may do a little bit of a different area with the penguins then just to make sure that the people still have a nice view of the penguins because if they cannot deep dive in here that would be a pity um, so not sure how to deal with this maybe we have like to do like an upper layer pool and a lower layer pool I don't know but I think one of the solutions for both would be to open this pool up for everyone but yeah I don't know the also the, the problem is I could I can just not get the water out and in again it's just impossible the water has to stay in and we will have to see but yeah so this is it for the real time but i hope you guys enjoyed and i'm gonna go to the outside view because that's just legit the best view ever so we go to the pier and have a look to our lovely little friends here so there you go guys i really hope you appreciated today's episode um i will be live streaming today again one last time before christmas eve uh, in case you want to catch me it's around 11 p.m central european time so from the time of the upload in like you know four to five hours i guess so um i hope you guys you know have time to catch me around and i would love to have like a cozy little christmas vibe going on with you and um, just chilling in a little christmas project which is going to be released on youtube tomorrow but in case you want to see it beforehand you can do so on the stream i would love to see you there and just have a last few words before christmas eve and other than that, stay safe, everyone. Make sure to enjoy your time. And in case you want to support the channel, as always, if you are not subscribed yet, uh, consider doing so. That helps me out, makes the channel grow, and also helps you to see some new videos in case you want. Um, but that's it. Stay safe again, and just make sure to enjoy your time. See you next time, and goodbye, everyone.